Hi my beautiful Pisceans and welcome to Oh So Sensuous Tarot. Today we're going to be doing a love reading for you. We're going to be seeing what is coming towards you and what the divine wants you to know. Um, just to let the viewers know, I will be using explicit um, tarot and oracle decks. So if that is something that offends you, if erotic language or erotic images offend you, then this will not be the reading for you, okay? Um, I hope you can hear me because it's like like an engine or something going on outside so i hope you're able to hear me okay so my beautiful pisceans let's get straight into it the overall energy for you for what's coming towards your love life is um student okay it reads learning classes college observant listening and study and at the bottom of the deck very piscean we have third eye it reads intuition chakra blue telepathy and perception so i definitely feel like you could be dealing with um a virgo or a scorpio i want to say but it doesn't have to be but i definitely feel like for some of you you may not be in a relationship right now or if you are your partner keeps tabs on you okay i feel like um you have a very in sync and in tune connection with somebody maybe you're dealing with somebody who's into it or they could be like a spiritual practitioner of some kind or somebody works with computers i'm hearing something about surveillance cameras also um somebody could be a security guard but does not have to be okay so for some of you you have a telepathic strong connection with someone um and they like to watch you they like to observe you for others of you you could be um not in a relationship and somebody um that wants to be with you or an ex or someone like that is stalking you or just a person of interest for others of you you may be in a relationship already and uh, oh, i don't know why i just <laughs> I don't know why it just came out like that. Maybe some of you have like an Australian accent. But um, some of you may be in a relationship already and there's somebody on the outskirts that's like spying on you. But either way, I feel like if you feel like you're being watched, you definitely are. I feel like um, you're able to um, read someone's thoughts as well or somebody's able to read your thoughts. So you obviously being, you know, ruling the high priestess, you're very, very intuitive. There's a lot that you say. There's a lot that you know that you don't say okay so maybe try, somebody's trying to read your mind they could be trying to think about what it is that to get you what it is that they like what it is that you like sorry because whenever i look at this card the laptop says love so somebody could be kind of like trying to observe the things that you like so they can get you something okay for others of you i do feel like someone is keeping tabs on your love life or you just have somebody that just likes to stalk you okay but let's see where this is going okay so this is for my beautiful Pisces. I just heard Pisces the mermaid. So that may be my new name for you, Pisces. Okay, somebody, um, someone may remind you of a mermaid or someone really likes to be in the water here, okay? Someone's also very sexy and very sensual, very seductive, okay? Someone also likes to drink a lot of alcohol, I just heard as well. So, or someone likes it when you're drunk. Yeah, focus wanting to come out, okay? So yeah, a lot of sensual vibes here. Ooh tongue master at the bottom of the deck so somebody could be trying to read your mind to um work out what you like when it comes to your kinks okay um someone really wants to know how to please you okay i'm hearing i want to go deep 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 okay so um maybe this is what's happening i feel like somebody also has a very long tongue <laughs> it can reach levels okay it's like you know i don't even need anything else just give me your tongue okay oh yeah look, oh my goodness underneath that we've got tender touch yeah, okay. So I feel like I feel like somebody likes to watch you get undressed. I also I'm hearing something about um recording. So for some of you you may um make like a home movie with your person, okay? I do I'm getting this vibe of someone's being watched. So I feel like for some of you like you don't know that you're being watched, but maybe you're making love to your partner and like your neighbor or someone is watching you. Okay, if you have like a laptop that has like a camera in it, which I think most laptops do, just be very careful that like something is not um turned on by accident. Okay, because I feel like someone has um there's something I just keep on hearing the word surveillance. So someone is able to see like your sexual conversations or your sexual interactions with you and your partner. If that's not what it is, I feel like your partner just wants to record you. Maybe they want you to send them something saucy, okay? Or they want to um, record your sexual encounters. Like somebody wants to make like a home porno with you, okay? That's what I'm getting, okay? So I'm getting so many different stories. 
The underneath that we do have old school. It says vintage chivalrous dates, courtship, and photos. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So yeah, someone, um, I'm getting a lot of dick pics or pussy pics or sexual pics. Maybe you've sent a naked picture of yourself or naked poses with your partner or that's something that you could be discussing. But I definitely feel like someone is very, very fixated and focused on you. Okay, I'm also hearing like, I want your panties, send me your panties. Okay, so, um, you know, you, you could be dealing with a panty sniffer. <laughs> Someone likes the way your pussy smells, okay? So, what's coming towards my beautiful Pisces? <laughs> oh, we got two cards that wanted to come out. Now let's let's put those back. That wasn't sexy enough for me. We just want one card. We just want one card. Thank you. Oh, we've got engagement. Okay, yeah, so like I said, somebody could be trying to observe you to see what you like. Maybe somebody's trying to work out what your ring size is. Some of you may have like real small, small cute hands so they're just not too sure. They could be trying to think of a clever way. Okay, but this could be like a promise ring. It doesn't have to be a wedding ring. It just could just be like a, you know, somebody may see like a cute little crystal ring like that's like an amethyst or something. They're like, yeah, my girl would like that or whatever, okay? But if this is not like um an actual, you know, gift, this could just be like you engaging within conversation with each other, okay? Just getting real close okay but i feel like somebody definitely wants to um have a higher level of commitment with you okay so yeah someone's just really um i feel like someone just really feels in tune with you okay they just kind of feel like you're the one okay or you're just really in sync with someone or somebody could be saying to you like yeah we're, we're gonna be together i just know it. And you're like yeah whatever okay like somebody could literally be telling you your future Okay, maybe you're getting an actual personal reading. Maybe you're not with anyone and someone's saying like, yeah, you're going to meet someone, you're going to hook up. And you're like, yeah, whatever, I don't see it happening, but it's like coming into fruition. So this could be your confirmation. Okay, so I'm getting so many different like stories and downloads, guys. So just take what you feel resonates most. But yeah, someone's definitely focused on building a connection with you, okay? I feel like somebody's like committed to your body also. So I feel like somebody really wants to pleasure you, okay? I feel like it's real dreamy when you... um have sex with this person i'm hearing something about kundalini okay with the third eye here and the intuition okay but somebody's real um witchy and mysterious okay but i feel like you could be with someone like i said i'm getting the strong vibe of you're already in a connection and like there's somebody that's watching this okay i feel like you just feel like you're being watched Okay, like I feel it. I feel like I, I feel like you know. I keep wanting to look behind me, even though I know that nobody's there. Okay, I'm also hearing something about look back at it. Look back at it. So somebody likes your derriere. I just heard I like it when you bend over or bend over for me. Yeah, look at the bottom of the deck. Pleasure. <laughs> so like a lot of oral sex. Somebody may want to incorporate treats, um, and food, as well. Okay, yeah, we got safe place, gorgeous. So yeah, somebody feels safe with you. Okay, it's safe to be vulnerable. It's safe, it's safe to expose yourself. If you're like um, nervous about, you know, sending, you know, like naked pictures to your person, because for some of you, you could be dealing with somebody online. Maybe this is this person like looking at you on, you know, their laptop or their computer or their phone. They're like, yeah, you know, take that shit off. Like you could be stripping for someone. But like, if you're worried about whether or not this person's going to show anyone, like, you know, it's safe for you to send pictures to this person and be all like sexual okay they're not going to do anything okay it's just for them okay i feel like you could be dealing with someone who's quite possessive over you with all this stalking so i don't feel like they want anyone to see you in that way okay but somebody feels real um comforted with you so that's really really gorgeous energy if this isn't happening right now then obviously this is what will be coming towards you okay but yeah a lot of pleasure okay somebody likes ponytails or they like to grab your hair or some of you have a lot of hair so like, yeah give me that <laughs> give me that hair underneath we do have separation so for some of you, you could be um you may be at a distance from this person or separated but if you are separated i feel like they're like i said they're stalking you and they're they're coming to get that cookie i just heard like that cookie belongs to me okay so let's just see where this is going so please clarify focus. This is for my beautiful Pisces. Oh, Pisces. Okay, that went all the way on the other side. Wow. Well, at the bottom of the deck, we have jealousy and possessive. So that just confirms what I just said. So one second, guys. Oh, my goodness. 
Yeah, we have the lady who waits that wanted to come out. Okay, so I feel like somebody likes to make you wait for it. Somebody likes to make you, I just heard gag for it. Someone likes to, um, they like the suspense, they like the anticipation. So I, I'm, I'm hearing like, I want you to beg me, I want you to beg for it, okay? Because this is clarified by focus. So it's kind of like, you know, I, I'm hearing something about blue balls as well. Like someone gets you all riled up. It's like, are you going to take me or not? Nah? Okay, also, like I said, for some of you, you could just be waiting on this um lover to arrive it's like really but it's kind of like intuitively you know that something's gonna happen and it will okay because someone definitely has their eye on you okay um but yeah you see how she's kind of lying there just naked okay and it's like all these um what 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 are these they kind of look a bit demonic um like elves or something coming towards her kind of like tempting her or something like that she's kind of laying there like oh you know, when are you going to come and satisfy me? When are you going to please me? But I feel like somebody likes to tease you, okay? I'm hearing something about teasing, okay? So where are, where's the deck? There it is. So what is coming towards my beautiful Pisces and love? Please have that engagement. Wow, yes. <laughs> so that card came out again, jealousy and possessiveness. So yeah, I feel like someone kind of wants to let you know like you're mine i'm gonna commit to you you're not going anywhere your body's mine because this person is fully clothed and she's naked and you know they're you know i mean look where they're facing directly to her coochie parts so someone's like yeah i want you and i need you so i'm gonna show you that like you're you're gonna you're gonna take an oath okay to be mine forever like that's what i just heard so yeah like i said someone's real jealous of you they don't want anyone to see you like naked or anything like that so if you're like nervous or afraid to send things like don't be i feel like this person kind of looks whatever you send them this person goes over it over like over and over and over and over and over again so i feel like you really turn someone on pisces or um this could be the other way around i also feel like somebody has a lot of fantasies about you when they're in the bath i just heard as well okay yeah we've got longing and desire at the bottom of the deck so please clarify safe place what's coming towards um my beautiful pisces so we've got balance and unity somebody else got this i can't remember who but you could be dealing with a libra but it does not have to be but yeah someone's like your safe unit they make you feel balanced okay um and secure so i don't feel like you have to worry about this person like leaving you or anything like that okay like i said if you feel like you're being watched or if your partner watches you i feel like they just like to look at you okay but i feel like someone you know someone is real jealous here also so they could just be like keeping tabs on you just because they're just possessive okay? <laughs> and then uh, at the bottom of the deck we have memories and remembrance so yeah i feel like somebody likes to kind of um replay things in their mind when it comes to you now for others of you if you are real focused in the connection and this is an outside energy they could be thinking about you know all the sexual times or all the you know all the times they kind of they had you in certain positions i feel like someone's a bit of a dominatrix here okay but yeah i just keep on hearing i like to watch i like to watch okay maybe you're watching a lot of porn as well or you could be um proposing this to your partner maybe you and your partner watch porn together or you kind of get inspiration like yeah i'm gonna do this that and the third okay but yeah someone just likes to watch i just keep on hearing i like to watch <laughs> So someone may want you to play with yourself and show them, okay? But I feel like someone likes to watch you on a screen. I feel like that, um, I feel like that really turns somebody on, okay? So what is coming towards my beautiful Pisces? Oh, oh my goodness, yeah. Turn someone on, all right. So I'm hearing something about squirting or an eruption or an explosion. So this is the only card that didn't, turn it over yeah we got the page of candles oh my goodness look what's going on all up in there so yeah someone definitely um is very turned on by you we do have the emperor at the bottom of the deck so yeah someone who likes to take control a lot of passion a lot of mars energy okay but yeah so expect some like good news from a person but i feel like someone kind of wants to they want to tease you okay because that's what looks like is happening in this card Okay, she's kind of like fingering her. So I feel like that's what, some, that's what someone likes to do. They kind of like to get you to the point of climax and then kind of like stop. 
you know, so you're just kind of, oh my goodness, could you just, could you just, <laughs> okay. So yeah, I'm hearing like a sexual tease. I also feel like somebody here is very, um, very desirable in the sense that like they're like young or young looking, youthful looking. So someone's got like a real tight body, okay, or like their pussy's real tight. Let's just keep it 100, okay. But you know, you get somebody all riled up, okay. And again, I like to watch. Because, you know, these two guys, they're doing something. But this person, I don't know what they're doing in the background. They look like they're dripping wax. Oh, my goodness. Yes, on her breasts. So I'm hearing something about pain and pleasure. So some of you may be incorporating this. Or um, well, this is what somebody wants to do. Someone's real kinky here. But, yeah, it's like this person, they're not really, like, involved sexually. They're just, like, on the outskirts, just using some kind of apparatus there to kind of join in, but not really. And these two are kind of, you know, having fun. So yeah, I like to watch. That's what I keep hearing. And literally like the emperor, he kind of looks like he's sitting there watching what's going on. Maybe some of you are in some kind of like polygamous relationship, but it does not have to be okay. Um, if not, you could just be watching. Um, or like I said, someone is watching you make love, or this is what somebody could be telling you that they wanna do, okay? So you're gonna get some kind of confirmation of this. Okay, one second, my beautiful Pisces. Yeah, so I just literally had to just check on my rice before it burnt. So yeah, I feel like someone gets real fired up here, okay? Or someone's at their boiling point. So maybe, maybe you haven't... Um, had sex with somebody yet and is they're like listen i'm tired of fucking waiting like i'm just i'm gonna devour you like this is it i've, I've had enough <laughs> you maybe you're dealing with somebody who's like real traditional maybe they're like you know no i want to like wait until we're in a serious relationship or want to wait till i get married to have sex or i'm celibate and you're just like yeah not for long <laughs> not for long but let's just see guys this is for my beautiful um for my beautiful Pisces. Ooh. What do we have? So we have the Eight of Shells. Okay, so yeah, pouring your heart out because the Eight of Shells is the equivalent to um the Eight of Cups. Okay, and that's your energy. So I feel like um someone's not letting you go, literally. This is like, I don't know where you think you're walking to, but you're coming right back. Okay, so like I said, I feel like someone... <laughs> someone's just like yeah someone is i feel like you're dealing with someone who's very controlling like i said that dominatrix type that could be you they like to take control of the situation is that like, i'm gonna tell you when you're ready to come i'm gonna tell you when you know i'm ready to do this i'm gonna tell you when i'm ready to do that like like listen to me <laughs> okay but yeah i just feel like it's really hard to walk away from this person i'm also hearing um i like I hate to see you leave, but I like to watch you walk away. So again, somebody likes your body, okay? So what is coming towards my beautiful Pisces? Oh, and then we have the Ace of Feathers, okay? So that is the Ace of Swords. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Shells, okay? So that's the Four of Cups. So we'll get into that in a moment. But yeah, the Ace of... um. The Ace of Swords, this is, okay? So this is in balance, unity, and safe place. So like I said, someone here is the truth. Definitely could be dealing with an air sign, Libra in particular, but it could be anyone, at, um, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Okay, but, you know, um, I'm, I'm getting something about signing contracts here, and again, a lot of communication, but I feel like, um, you know, someone's real honest with their feelings and how they feel about you, okay? Somebody also may want to express something to you as well. They want to tell you some kind of truth about something. Like, yeah, I watch you. I stalk you. Yeah, and what? You know, I feel like you're whatever you're intuitively thinking, it's going to be um proven. Okay. I just heard the proof is in the pudding and the proof is in the pussy. So I don't know what that means or what that pertains to, but you know, you'll know. Um, but the four of cups here, I feel like um there may be somebody around you, could be a cancer, but I feel like there's, you know. I feel like somebody kind of spoils you to the point where you're just like, oh, I can't take it anymore. Just stop, just stop. But I also feel like you're not interested in anyone else or this person is not interested in anyone else but you. And like I said, I feel like even if you wanted to get away from this person, you couldn't. Like something just always kind of draws you back in. 
okay i also feel like for others of you if this is somebody looking out um into your relationship i feel like this person kind of like feels like they've missed out on an opportunity with you okay and they're kind of like reflecting and remembering um you know how pleasing you were and i feel like somebody's like um how can i say someone is afraid of you giving the cookie to someone else okay yeah also you know if you're currently dealing with someone it's kind of like they're thinking like yeah i'm not trying to i'm not trying to let this go i'm not trying to miss out on this because they know if they let you go um you know i'm getting the vibes of irreplaceable okay so let's just see please clarify the page of candles i just had candle lit dinner oh how romantic please clarify the page of candles oh wow <laughs> Yeah, so we've got the Tower and the Ace of Emotions, so the Ace of Cups. So yeah, literally two cards of like ejaculation, okay? So somebody's going to blow your mind, okay? Definitely could be dealing with a Scorpio. Somebody had significant Scorpio placements, okay? This could be you with the Ace of Cups. But yeah, a lot of pleasure, okay? I'm hearing like a lot of screaming and something about heat as well. So I don't know, maybe you're going to be in like a hot tub or, you know, maybe someone is going to like drip candle wax onto you i don't know i don't know what i don't know what's in you goes on in your life okay but i feel like someone's real kinky to the point of like um <laughs> you know it's almost scary but i feel like you like it okay so yeah but like i said somebody likes to make you wait okay this could also be like a new love as well in your life like i said some of you could be like in a new connection or you're wondering is this going to happen like yes it's going to come out of nowhere you're going to be shocked and mind blown okay but yeah um i'm also hearing a lot of dirty talk as well i also i'm hearing somebody likes to watch watch it drip so like if you are a squirter or if you're just really wet and like i just heard something about cream pie oh my goodness but like if you get really juicy down there, somebody likes to watch the juices or they like to watch the cum come out of the pussy. Like they like to they like to look at that. Like someone's like real dirty minded. Like someone's real perverted, but I feel like you love it. Okay. So yeah. Please clarify the eight of shells. Please clarify the eight of shells. Wow, yeah, here you are, Pisces. We got the nine of cups. Somebody else got that, but yeah, I told you, someone's going to give you exactly what you want. And you know, the eight of cups goes towards the nine of cups, which is the wish fulfillment. So that's what you're walking into, okay? So someone is just going to, I feel like someone's going to sexually spoil you, okay? But you are exactly what somebody wants, or you're going to get exactly what you want in a situation, there's no need to be jealous and possessive. I feel like something or someone belongs to you. And like I said, you're dealing with somebody who's very in tune with you. So I feel like you can just read each other's thoughts, each other's vibrations, each other's mind. You may finish off each other's sentences. There's a lot of synchronistic things that happen. Oh my God, I was just thinking that. I was just saying that. I was just doing that confirmation, confirmation. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so that's really gorgeous energy. And please clarify the Ace of Feathers. This is for my beautiful Pisces. Ooh, oh my goodness. What do we have? So we've got the Emperor of Wealth, so the King of Pentacles. So yeah, like I said, someone's very serious about you. Okay, somebody here has a lot of money as well. They're going to spoil you. You could be dealing with somebody who's like a millionaire, but it does not have to be. This could just be somebody who's like well-established within their business, within their career. But they've got a lot that they want to give to you, a lot that they want to... um. A lot of places that they want to take you as well. I also feel like you make someone grounded, okay? Or somebody grounds you, okay? So it could be dealing with a Capricorn, Virgo, or a Taurus, but it does not have to be okay. But yeah, I'm hearing that you can trust someone. They're down to earth. They may be possessive. They may like to watch you, but this person is really serious about you. And at the bottom of the deck, we do have the six of wands. So somebody really admires you. They put you up on a pedestal. They also want to show you off okay but a lot of sexual attraction here a leo could be very significant as well okay yeah underneath that we do have the ten of cups so yeah i just feel like someone is enamored with you okay and like i said i feel like someone doesn't want to miss out on like being with you it's like nobody they don't want anyone else with the four of shells here the four of cups 
you're what I want. That's what I heard. So that's really, really gorgeous, okay? And somebody loves your attention, okay? So they may do little things to try to get your attention. Like, I feel like someone doesn't like it, like, when, you, when you're, like, not focused on them. Or maybe, like, you're working or something. And someone's like, oh, you know, what are you doing? It's like, babe, you know I'm at work. But someone just likes your attention, okay? <laughs> I just like your attention. So let's just see where this is going. Please can we have a love, love message for my beautiful Pisces? So pick up the damn phone. I just want to talk to you, yeah. So I'm getting a lot of things to do on the phone or on a screen. Okay, so like I said, somebody just likes to talk to you. They like to hear your voice. They like to look at you. They like to watch, okay? Give us another message, please, and thanks. This is for my beautiful Pisces. <laughs> So we have, yes, I am jealous. Yes, I am possessive. And at the bottom of the deck, I want you to be mine forever. So I mean, you know, that concludes the reading. Someone, they want you. And I think they're gonna have you. Someone is like determined to conquer you and to conquer your body, okay? Um, so yeah, so yeah, someone may call you and hit you up all the time, but like they just, they just love you. They're just obsessed. I feel like someone's obsessed with you. Okay. Someone else got that as an outcome, but I don't remember who it was. So additional information for the beautiful Pisces. Can you have additional information, please and thanks? So we have... It reads, I let go of what's not good for me and receive all that is good for me. And at the bottom of the deck, when I nurture myself, I increase my value, my worth, and my confidence. Yeah. So I feel like for some of you, you know, um, I feel like someone admires you because you kind of take care of yourself. Maybe you're very successful. So like I said, whatever doesn't serve you or serve, or serve the other person, they're just not interested. They're just focused on giving and receiving with you or vice versa, okay? So I hope that helps. Um, if you enjoyed the reading, please do not hesitate to comment down below, share and subscribe. Bye.